What's up? Thought I'd make a quick video here since there's something that's been on my mind lately that has kind of made a resurgence thanks to certain events, and that's the topic of if once per character dailies and weekly should exist again. I know, I know, it's an old topic that's existed since NGS's launch, with them making dailies and weeklies once per account. However, it came back to my thoughts because on the week of July 6th, there was a bug where one of the event weeklies could be completed once per character instead of once per account. Gonna make a bit of a controversial take with this, but this is the best bug they have ever accidentally made. The weekly rewarded a single arms refiner too, and all you had to do was defeat two bosses in Mount Magnus, Vanford Labs, and Resolved Forest each. There's no level limit for this either, so you can go nuts and kill a lower level boss for a quick completion. The key thing to point out for this is the fact that you could get at least two to three refiners a week, or at least at that time if you had at least one alt character made. Or 30 if you're a goddamn madman, props to all you crazy bastards out there. This is pretty good in my opinion because of how much of a royal pain it is to get arms for fire twos normally. Let's list them. Through normal means you could get two from crafting them which requires 15 arms refiners and five NEX cubes each. AKA way too much for a cost, I really don't recommend this. Two from Ark's record badge exchange, and they cost 10 badges each, like that's probably gonna be your go-to every week. They're also a rare drop from Urgent Quest, specifically Dark Falls Interception, Battle of Halfia Lake, and the New Remnants of Ambition. Really don't bet on these as a farm, especially when queued with randoms. You'll thank me later. And finally, you could get them from good old Nuisance Plan. They only drop from bosses, so expect about one to two per hour at least if doing this method, and that's being generous. They're gating us from getting more, and the best method to farm them has you literally go out of your way to farm them since Arms for Fire 2s only drop in Nuisance, but you can't get Gold Prim 2s or that very, very small chance at a Tisa drop there, and vice versa. This is slowly evolving into a why we should get more ways to farm Arms of Fire 2's video, but I have a suggestion. I'm assuming they made the dailies and weeklies once per account as a way to combat inflation early on. As if that fucking worked! So instead, what if they made permanent dailies and weeklies that reward certain materials that can be done once per character? But BACON! This makes the game unfair! The people with 30 plus characters will be doing nothing but that per week. It'll ruin the economy. It's pay to win. But the player economy was already fucked to begin with. For making specific items cost more intentionally and making shop passes scarce for free to play players to the red box incident at NGS's launch that we haven't recovered from still and the drop system being absolute trash, it didn't help the economy any. Plus it wouldn't affect Struvent prices since they're easy as hell to farm and you can only craft two Arms of Fire 2s a week. More importantly, I don't know if you noticed this, but Arms of Fire 2s, Photon Chunks, and X Cubes of any kind can't be sold in personal shops. As for the pay to win part, it's just pay to progress faster. If you have three characters that you've done all your weeklies for, and add in the Yark's Record Badge Exchange along with crafting them, God, I hope you're not crafting them. You'll be fine as long as you hold on to them for the next upcoming weapons that will really need them. It's a minor fix to the Arms for Fire 2 problem while also giving players a rewarding reason to go on their alts for the first time in at most years. I see this as a win overall. However, I can see the argument for needing to set up gear for those alts, but you can literally go to a low rank sector to do, to do this unless they gate it to a specific level, which balances it out at the cost of needing to somewhat invest in another character. Base PSO2 worked that exact way where you were locked out of more rewarding dailies and weeklies for that character until you reached a certain level before daily reset. In conclusion, I believe once per character dailies and weeklies should come back in some way, shape, or form. I'll even accept them as an event only thing. If not, then it's whatever. This is just my opinion after all. But what about you guys? What do you think about all this? Should they have dailies and weeklies return to once per character or are you fine with the way things are now? Voice your thoughts in the comments or go vote in this poll I'll link in the description if uh, future me remembers. Until next time, keep staying cool. Like, no, really.
It's been hot as hell lately. Sit in front of a fan or something and drink something cold. Don't want anyone suffering from heat strokes around here. 